Hey there Richard, this is how to set up the AMS 2000 and uh, get these settings to, to load up. So this file here is the settings that I've emailed to you. Um, just save it to the desktop. Go to the website nlrsystems.com and just click on the link to download it. I like to save it to the desktop. Um, Chrome for some reason gives me this little warning. So I'm just going to say yes, that file is OK, keep it. And from there, I'm going to drag it over to the side and extract it. And just run deployment. Go next, next, next. Wait a little bit. And then close. So that should be all installed. And it's got um, the little icon on the desktop. We double click that, it'll have a splash screen. Then you go to file. Uh, open user data file and locate this folder uh, file on the desktop. So by going to desktop, double click on the settings file. So now it's loaded in there. If we go to boost profile and then go to event time, this will show the current curve that's in there. And there's uh, five different settings that the, um, that the AMS has got on it. Uh, or that you can shoot, you can. There's a little dial on on the drag so that you can flick through five different profiles. So there's like uh, profile one, two, three, and I think the three, four, and five aren't used, but they're there anyway. I think the first one is for like the burnout, and then the second one I think is what we actually do take off on. Or it might be even the three. Not too sure, because that's what um, Jason was really doing. But yeah, you can um, edit these points by shifting them around, double clicking to add a point, while it's got a little um, blue uh, square around it, you can right click on it and delete the point. And yeah, you can then save it if you want to, and that's not really going to going to do anything uh, harmful at all and just say that this is an edited, edited setting edited and save it and it's not until you actually plug in um, the AMS 2000 to your computer and then you can actually save what you've got on the screen onto the AMS and you can also even while the AMS is plugged in you can load the data out of it as well and so yes, opening files and saving files, uploading those files to the AMS and loading files out of the AMS. That's it. Have a good one. See ya.